How do you feel your mind? It does matter. Hey, it's Janet with Be Boss Health and Fitness. If you're new to following me, I am a virtual health coach helping people just like you live their very best day, uh, blah, 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 live their very best lives every day through better health and fitness. But really, it starts in your mind. And if we don't fuel our minds properly, we're not going to have the belief that we can and we should. Um, and we will and you know it's something I've learned over the last couple of years in um, <clears throat> in this journey for me it's something I've always struggled with believing that I could or believing that I had what it took or believing that I was enough of whatever to contribute and so it was hard for me when I started even to you know put myself out here on social media for people to follow it gets easier over time but man, the first live video I ever did, I mean, you could probably go back and find it, but I, I don't recommend it. Um, but I started fueling my mind with the things that I needed to, to believe. Um, I started reading and listening to things that um, reinforced that we are all created for a purpose, that we are all good enough, that we all have strengths and we all have purposes and we all are stronger than we think and you know that's what comes out I hope every day as I talk to you guys and as I share my journey that we are all so much stronger and more capable than we think but it does start with believing that we can or believing that we should try and sometimes there's a little bit of a fake it till you make it syndrome where you show up and you do the work and you build the habits or you do the thing the person told you to do until you start to believe it. But if you feel your mind along the way, you'll get there faster. And um, you know, I still struggle with some of those things, with some of those things of, you know, believing that um, I am strong enough, good enough, knowledgeable enough to share my journey, to help others on their journey. Um, and we're really just all on this journey together. We all learn together. Um, maybe I'm slightly further along than you and that helps me guide you. Um, maybe uh, you're further along than me and I need your input on, uh, in my life, in my, in my team, in my uh, uh, coaching and sharing and inspiring other people, uh, you know. Um, we're all a team and you know the the uh, we were all created to have a specific purpose and gifts and strengths and no two people are exactly the same in that way and that's good that's how we all work together and like I said that's how I'm learning through this journey that we all bring different things to the table and unless we all work together um, we don't get anywhere and uh, you know, I remind myself of that every day. And I, um, and you might see me post where I listen to podcasts or I read books. And most of those books are geared towards um, either creating habits that make us more productive, make us stronger, make us um, more capable. Because the habits build the consistency that build the the performance that we want and the life that we want. Um, or you'll see me reading things about, you know, having confidence, having um, energy, having a growth mindset, having, um, you know, just believing in, um, in a purpose. And I constantly feel myself with that. And I constantly remind myself that I am not alone in that journey, that everyone has this, so, those struggles, some more than others, but everyone does have them as, as much as you might think they don't, as much as they may come across as capable and confident and having it all together. Um, we all struggle. And every time I hear that it, and I, or I read that, it just reinforces um, the fact that while I might feel like I'm the only one who thinks they're not good enough or struggles with um, those type of things, I'm not. Um, even people that I thought, you know, were the strongest people out there. So anyway, I say that to encourage you to fill your mind with the right things, whether it's a book or a podcast 
or um, the TV that you watch, the social media that you consume, it all impacts us. And if we focus on all of the negativity and getting sucked into that, that is what we will be. And if we focus on the positive and we focus on inspiring messages and we focus on building up our own mental strength, then that is the direction that we will go in. So I just encourage you to feed your mind. If I can help you with any recommendations, I am happy to. Um, I do cover a lot of these things periodically in my virtual gym. You know, we're there for health and health starts in our mind. And so I often f focus themes, monthly themes in my virtual gym around not just fitness and nutrition, but in our mindset, in setting goals, in creating habits, in loving ourselves the way we are, even while we try to improve ourselves. So I try to take a little bit of what I'm consuming and pass it on to everyone else. Now it is time for me to take that mental uh, capability and turn it into a kick-ass workout. So here we go. Have a great Tuesday.